Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, it is so nice to meet you. In today's video, I'm going to be decluttering my phone and getting ready for the new year. I had my Christmas themed iOS 14 widgets on here and I just needed to make it look less holiday-ish and ready for the new year. So I hope you guys enjoy iPhone related content. Um, usually you guys seem to like my iPhone videos. I am filming this on my phone right now. I'm using my AirPods as a microphone because usually the quality of audio it doesn't sound very great um for my phone but the airpods i'm hoping will make it sound good so let me know if this sounds good because i'm really liking it also the lighting looks really good in here i don't have any makeup on i have not really done anything to myself today but i just wanted to enter this video so if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe down below be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like iphone related content leave any video requests or suggestions down below and let's go ahead and get started so first here is my Christmas background. Obviously we need to get rid of that because it is not Christmas anymore. And then when you open up my phone, I had the Christmas background with a red calendar and then the Christmas widgets. So we have to get rid of all of that. So first things first is changing the background to something that is not Christmas. So I went through on Instagram and Made by Mary on Instagram has a highlight of their designs that they have. So I went through and screenshotted all of the backgrounds that I like the best. So there are a bunch of different rainbow ones. And then there are some quotes thrown in here as well and some flowers and stuff. Um, and I just thought they were really pretty. So I just screenshotted all the ones that I liked so that I could pick which one I wanted instead of having to go back and forth. I just screenshotted them all in case I want to use them for future, if it, even if I don't pick it like for this video. So of course, if you want any of these, you can go to their Instagram and screenshot them. Um, but that was all of them. So I was trying to decide between this one and a different one, but this is what I am gonna end up using for my lock, not lock screen, my home screen. So behind all the apps, so I just zoomed in so I can make sure that it was going to be seen well. That was me just checking to make sure it was in a good place because I didn't want it to be covered up. And now I'm changing the lock screen. So I was trying to decide between this one that says bloom or this one that says good times ahead. For this video, I ended up picking this one because good times ahead is kind of a good way to start the new year. So it's blue and I think it's a really pretty color blue. And I just centered it up, made it the lock screen and I would show it to you as my lock screen. But whenever I lock my phone, it will stop the screen recording. So I didn't show that, sorry. Um, so now I need to work on my widgets. So I like the layout of this. So I'm going into my widgets and I'm using the medium number two and I just have a calendar. I decided to keep the calendar as is. Um, I was going to look at what my options were, but I just decided to keep it like it was. But as you can see, there are so many different options. Um, I'm using the app Widgetsmith in case you're curious. And then I was looking at all of the colors that are preset with different fonts and everything, but I decided I just wanted to keep it customized like I have it. So I went down here to the custom feature, which is what I did for the color that I had already. Um, and I couldn't decide what I wanted to do, so I made some changes. Um, if you click on it, you'll see that like you can pick a custom color. If you click on advanced color chooser, you can do RGB color codes or you can do a hex code. And uh, so because you can do a hex code, I went on to Procreate Pocket, which is an app that I have on my phone. I imported the photo that is the home screen background and I zoomed in on the little rainbow and then I used the color dropping tool to select the color. And then I just copied and pasted the hex code that was on the colors. So that's what I did there. As you can see, I already made some changes, but I didn't like them. So that's why I was choosing the hex color here. And if you're not familiar with the hex code is, it's just a color code um, and it's mostly just used in design. I wanted the words to be white, so I went ahead and changed that. And then I went back into the settings and just pasted the code from Procreate Pocket. So it was the exact same color and it was super simple. And I just went and saved it. And as you can see, it is there and it just goes really well with the home screen. And then I decided that I wanted to use one of these backgrounds as one of the widget photos just as a nice little pretty graphic so i could not for the life of me decide which color i mean which picture i wanted to use but here i am just scrolling through them looking at them trying to make a decision 
I decided to go with Here Comes the Sun because I thought that was pretty cute. So I went into the widget that was already there. I edited it and I clicked on a photo and then I went down to where it says selected photo and I just chose the photo for my camera roll. And then I saved it. And then after it changed, I realized it was not lined up properly. So I went back in and just adjusted the alignment. So cute and the colors look really good with the background as well. So now I need to change the picture widget thing that's down there. I have a folder of pictures that I purchased from Etsy of these like watercolor plants and they were originally supposed to be used as Instagram highlight story story highlight covers but I decided to crop them into squares and use them as this background photo so I'm just going in to change it and um, I already have this widget made so I just changed it from one widget to another so all my plant photos are there and I think it looks super cute and fresh and then I decided I wanted to edit this page because there was just too much on it and I also already have the weather widget on the other screen so I decided to get rid of the weather widget here just because it was too much. I didn't need it on there twice. And then I decided to declutter some apps. So the app I'm moving now just controls some light switches in my house. So I didn't know where to move it. I just used moved it to social for now or to entertainment for now because it's in my office. And then I decided to get rid of a couple of apps, um, whether I deleted them or just moved them to my app library. I really love that you can add stuff to the app library now. Um, and then I added Credit Karma to my finance folder, Google Voice to my business folder, and then I moved this one into social. And I don't know why, because it's not a social app, but it's one that I wanted to be able to access without searching for. And then I decluttered this third page of random apps because I didn't need them or I didn't want them on the home screen anymore. And if I needed to access it, then I could just search for it. Um, I decided to move this app into social. I use this to track my um, like time I spend editing YouTube videos just so that I can keep track of how long it takes. And then this last one is the app for my TV remote. So that way I can just connect it to my smart TV. Does this ever happen to you when you're trying to add something to a folder and it just like will not stay in place? You have to approach it very slowly and carefully. Really annoying, but there it is. So that is the home screen and it's all nice and aesthetic, at least my aesthetic. I think the colors are beautiful. Um, I did decide to get rid of this widget because it was not serving me. Um, this other one is the Bible app uh, versus the day, and it always has a pretty graphic, but that's everything. It's all nice and decluttered and organized and fresh for the new year. And that is all I have for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. Be sure to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>